Here we go. Hype train has left the building, baby. I'm out of my mind. Sitting in my basement playing Paper Mario, but I love it. Got a nice six pack with me. It's me and you today, Mario, and all you beautiful people. Let's let's have some fun. Mm. Lots of guests already here. Oh, uh, I need uh I need sushi the fish. No 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 lack uh Lakitu is you can fly me. Makes the game so much more nice. Paper Mario is pretty expensive. I, um, when I, when I used to collect, uh, games, I always wanted, um, like, I always told myself, instead of having just, like, a bunch of random games in a collection, because that's kind of pointless to me, especially if you're not going to play them, um, even though this is kind of not playing them either, I always wanted to get, like, my favorite games of all time, Factory Sealed, and one of them, I want to get this. I think at the time when I was looking... It was like 200 something bucks factory sealed. I think it went up since then, but. And the, the artwork on the box of this game is so pretty. I love it. My girlfriend's called me Pad once. <laughs> when we get up to Bowser's Castle, that's such a fun level. I remember there's so much puzzles in it. So many puzzles. What's up, virtual hero? Yeah, this is a great one. This is a great one. See, I can't even do like the power hit when you like press A right before. I love hit vibes. I uh, hit vibes. It's like I, I. That was one of the first albums like I really heard too. Um, back then, I was in college and I heard it. I was like, I think we were like having, like we were pre-gaming and I was just going through like uh, playlists on YouTube and that one popped up and I just, it was awesome. And yeah, I will do a video on Hit Vibes when I get the vinyl. I'm, I'm setting like a goal for myself. When I hit 10,000 subs, I'm going to buy the red Hit Vibes vinyl and review it. So, and we just hit 2,000 subs this weekend. So we're a fifth of the way there. So we're almost there. Almost. Um, I never, 
You know what it is? I know my favorite album of all time is uh, in Vaporwave is Yes, We're Open. That I know, like, for completely, I can clearly dictate that as my favorite. If I had to pick, like, a top three... I have to put Mana Pool up there, even though, like, it's it's so, like, Vapor Trap, and, like, it's still Vaporwave to me, though. It's, I just, I put it all in the same realm, so I, I have to put Mana Pool up there, because I just, I love that album. And, um, what's it called? What's, uh, I just had, uh, um, hmm. I, I mean, Another Night Together. By Telepath. I love that thing. I've done so much, like, studying to that album. Thank you, Texan Tokyo. That's a great mix. Country Tokyo. Imagine that. I was never a big Simpsons guy. I, I watched a couple episodes, like, once in a while when I was growing up, but... I remember one of these stars um, has this like star storm attack, and it was like the only one I used to use when I was a kid. Every other one I never even cared about. I forget which guy it was. I think it was the oh, I think it was the mean dude. Look at that fresh ass star in the back on the left, with that mean mug and eyebrows. Oh, Mega, yeah, I love Mega. I love that album. Mega's awesome. Everyone, I mean, everyone could go zero or one, but I just, I don't know. I always listen to Mega. This dude, like, does nothing when you use him in battle. I still remember all this stuff. <laughs> That's a, that's a big one, Snowboard Kids. I've never, um, that's another, I've never looked into, like, the difference between, um, PAL prices and then, like, US and, and whatnot. Like, what games are worth more in PAL and... Alright, this part, this part I remember was so annoying because I never knew how to like trigger, because like the old man like falls, right? Because there's no uh, balcony or something like that. This dude. <coughs> oh, never mind, that's the grandma. That's none the Goomba. A million. <laughs> That's a sweet bargain. Let me tell you. Someone told me I think I think the floral shop cassette is like one of the top three most expensive things on Discogs. I could be wrong though. Well, boy, you about to fall. <laughs> so I'm gonna be up there for a while. What's up, random person? 
Let's see before I actually unplug the game. I can personally guarantee you that's gonna happen at least once in this one. Hmm. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in my house. It's not a shabby place to Martin Screlly, the, uh, how do you say his name? That, uh, the pharma dude. He bought the Wu-Tang Clan's, like, secret album. There was only, like, one made. He bought it for, like, two million dollars. Um, so, there has been something that sold for more than a million. So, who knows? Maybe Photoshop will sell for a million. Yeah, I always wonder that too, if Diana Ross has ever heard the, uh, the song. Little does she know there's a one song completely rocks an entire genre and community. I wonder if she knows about it. Is that true? I didn't know Lil Wayne put out the Carter 5 at all. I thought that just never came to life because, like, cash money and he couldn't, like, figure out a deal or whatever it may be. I remember the Carter 4 came out when I was a senior in high school, I think. I was either a senior or a junior. I, my one of my best friends, like he loves the way that, and that like, he would play that album all day long. Oh, uh, now I go right, and then he's he fell or something. I gotta go find him. Yep. That's crazy if that's actually true. This is genuine. I'm running an N64 into my TV into an Elgato capture card into my laptop. It's a ma this setup right now, dude. If I were to stand up, I would fall. It's like a jungle in this room. And you know what? I feel like maybe I should play emulator if I'm gonna stream because I feel like the quality of the video isn't that good. Or at least it's like genuine. I don't know. It's in one of the bushes. I remember. Paper Mario speedrunning is really interesting. There's like a couple of channels like dedicated to like breaking down glitches for the game on YouTube. If anyone's interested, look up um Strider 7X or something like that. He like breaks down all these crazy, like really interesting. 
interesting things. Like, there's one video he shows how, like, if you hit this one block in Paper Mario for four years straight, it would crash the game. Like, really weird stuff. So if you're into that, like, just weird glitches and, and crap like that, check that guy out. Oh, wait, I don't have to look at this anymore. And I remember the girl's doll is in one of these trees or something like that. I think it's this one. Maybe not. Vaporwave rap. I mean, I haven't, I don't know, to be honest, I haven't really, like, heard, like, literally, va like, classic style Vaporwave with, like, a rap track. Like, or, like, anyone really bring it to life as much as it could get brought to life, I guess. Um, but, I mean, there's, like, cloud rap, I guess, like, has, you know, definitely roots in the, in the sound of it. And when you say, Stoopy, when you say, are you going to build up speed, um, do you mean, like, speed running this game, or? And, yeah, uh, Conquer is Bad Fur Day, I, I have, actually, because I bought the, I almost said cassette. I have a bad, a Conquer is Bad Fur Day cartridge. I, I bought it in, like, 2000, I never had it as a kid, but I bought it in, like, 2009 on Amazon for, like, 20-something dollars, and now I know that the price of that game has, like, just skyrocketed. When you play Conquer's Bad Fur Day, though, it really, like, it's not, I never thought it was that good of a game. I, I mean, when I played in, like, 2009, I don't know, the graphics are really just, like, it has the, um, the Zelda Twilight Princess effect. Like, the graphics, like, the textures of the background and all the objects, it looks like one image. I don't know, it's just really blurry. Everything's, like, blurry. Um, I just thought it was, like, like there's a clear difference between, like, how Banjo-Tooie plays, for example, and then... Conquer's bad for a day. This Conquer's looks so, like, less generated. Wait, are you talking about, like, the parallel universes, like, in, in Super Mario 64? <laughs> that, now that's some crazy stuff. That, see, I can't even watch those videos, because I just, I don't have the attention span to, like, listen to what that dude's saying. But his, th that guy's videos are amazing. Hannon Koek, whatever his name is. The Watch Out for Falling Rocks one? That's sick, that video. Huh? I need a super hammer for that one. There's a firefly up here, right? Yep, I remember. Get out my house, boy. I'm like a... I'm a really big grinder in video games. Like, I could sit in an area and just, like, farm enemies for hours. But I don't want to do that to you guys. So I'm going to try to not, like, just sit in areas and grind. I want to beat this game. Um, I never, I never speed ran any other game besides Super Mario 64, which I'm definitely gonna do on the, on this channel. Um, I just, I wanted to do a, uh, like a playthrough of a game. I always thought that would be a cool idea. So I'm gonna do this, and then we could take breaks, like, during this. I'll definitely run some, some Super Mario 64. Maybe even tonight, like, we'll play this for a little while. Alright, how about this? We can try 
and get the first star. Like, the first star, dude. Or, like, at least two, maybe. And then, I'll do a couple, like, Super Mario 64 speedruns. Sticker stars for, uh, is that for the DS? I don't even know what that's for. That that was like I've never played that game. That's that game's supposed to be really bad, right? Or something like that. Nope. I think I remember how to do it. No. The new one's called like Paper Jam or something like that, right? Color Jam or something like that. It would be really sweet to see like a straight up like, because there was like Paper Mario and then Thousand Year Door, like a legit new title for the Switch. That would be cool. Or unless they just bring Super Mario RPG back. Like a remake. That would that would be cool. Like remastered. Not even remastered. Just literally remake the game. Like they did with, like they're doing with Final Fantasy VII. That would be cool. If they do that, you heard it here first, everybody. I didn't mean to talk to you. Get out of my way. Fence, bro. He comes out, right? Yep. You bastard, and I miss. Oh, I forgot to put the badge on. I heard this statistic once, I could be completely wrong, but it's like, Nintendo has made so much money over the past couple years that they can go, like, they can lose money, like, with sales really bad for, um, for, like, 50 years and they'll still be up in profit or something.
Oh yeah, the, the smash switch is gonna be just ridiculous when that comes out. <laughs> Or the floral shop, uh, floral shop statue as a level, like Pokey floats. It's just a floating statue, and you gotta stay on it. Oh, why'd I jump? Why did I jump? I would, I would be a sweet assist trophy. Let me tell you. I talk someone to death. They, they get so bored and annoyed. <laughs> I wouldn't stop talking. You know what's it? They're done. Alright, let's tattle on this guy because I can't go on him. the red and the blue guy, right? Yeah, I remember. I'm excited to like really play it because I, I used to love it growing up, and I haven't played it since I was a kid, so. Oh, see. 
button. And a mushroom. Oh, never mind. Mario and Luigi, um, the one for the Game Boy Advance, I don't know if it was called Partners in Time, but that, that game, whatever it was, the first one, was so good. Hyrule, um, I love Isle 6 on, that song is like always is such a fan here to me, on, uh, Yes We're Open, cause that, that's my favorite album, so I would have to, I, I guess that one, um, Superstar Saga, that was the name of it, yep. I really don't have like a favorite song though now that like, I'm thinking about it. This game's so cheeky. <laughs> Big old blue button. What's up, ZXLXFT? As I'm walking into the kitchen door. Oh, 
Oh, are these the peach parts? I hate the peach parts. No. <laughs> Birth of a new floral shop. And it's open. Don't forget. Don't forget that too. The floral shop is open. The Mori show is pretty aesthetic. I would definitely make I would definitely declare the Mori show aesthetic. Those days you fake being sick from school because like a, a good video game came out. And you got Mori on in the background or something. Your mom's still your mom's home, she had to stay home. Because you took off at school. The, the, the poor woman had to cancel work. She couldn't go into work because you had a fake being sick. <laughs> Mori's on in the background. There's a secret room in this thing, right? I have to like... There's... I don't remember how to get there. Uh, do I have That's the dojo, I remember that. Uh, I forgot what I'm doing right now. Oh, we gotta go to the summit. We gotta go this way. I remember, I always thought this was like the coolest looking level in the video game. All the colors. This is a, this is a vaporwave area. Do you hear that? Do you hear that synth? Oh, there's a hi-hat. Now he needs a nice bass line. This would be, somebody sample this. Paperwave, someone sample this. Oh, 
Hold on, I don't got time for this. I gotta go beat the Koopa Bros. That dude, this is the dude that has the Star Storm attack that's like just lit. The only guy I would use, I think. I think it's him. Back to Princess Peach again so fast. You know what? No, the Princess Peach parts are kind of fun. I like when you gotta bake the cake. That's a fun level. I should have made myself a cup of coffee instead of a beer. Yeah, if I remember, I think Corp was telling me he would use um, Adobe Premiere to, to like slow down his samples, which is kind of interesting, because you could do it in there, so... Someone's got to take this and do something with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
What up, Luke? Mario 2? Is there a game just called Mario 2? Thanks, dude. Yeah, 2,000. Crazy. 2,000 subs. I remember when I made my first video. It was the, uh, it was the 9-11 Vaporwave one. And I remember I was so happy getting, like, a sub. Like, I was like, this is crazy. And what's up, Sonic? Yeah. Paper Mario, you gotta go. You never go wrong with some Paper Mario. And Hard Vapor album, I don't... Honestly, I don't really have. I never really listen to like hard vapor a lot. Um, I mean, I could pick something off of like Dream Catalog, but I don't know. Doctor, Doctor Lotto, baby. What's up, baby? What's up, bro? How you doing, baby? Bro? Everybody, go check out Doctor Lotto's Bandcamp. He's one of my best friends from home. He makes some pretty. If you like Mac DeMarco, you like his stuff. Go, go check him out. Doctor, put your uh, put your Bandcamp link in this. So I want to go check you out. through here yet? I don't know if I could. Gotta go blank. I gotta go blank, Banshee. Uh, this is where the train is. I, uh, I don't remember where to go. Right? Isn't it this way? Yeah. There's something over here. Is this a random area for no reason? For a picnic maybe? I think so. I, I like home from prison court and I love the artwork on that thing 
Oh, it's two? I'm so stupid. What's this? Uh, let's put payoff in there. I got you, baby. The dock, I got you. Alright, let's go. Still don't know where I really gotta go. That's a really tough one. They both have so, so much good stuff. And, uh, Texan, I keep, uh, the chat's, like, scrolling if you want to repost it. Where do I gotta go, man? See Luigi? I don't know. I don't think so. Is there a map? What do I gotta do? I think I gotta go. I gotta go to Koopa Town, wherever that is. I've seen the name 18 Carat Affair before, I never listened to him. So I need a refresher. If you got like a song recommendation. And, um, Texan, I gotta go home. Home, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I love home. And I was saying too, like, I love the artwork. Like, it's just it's such a good, good, good time. Do I gotta talk to you again? Yes, I love you. I just went to Mer All right, we're going back. Random person, could you make me a cup of coffee, dude? I, I made a big mistake. I should have made myself a cup of coffee before I started the stream. Or a nice espresso. Alright, let's go play some Paper Mario, baby. Stop talking to me. Even though what he said was probably important. 
storm in Koopa Bros Fortress. Here we go. Ooh, that was good. Nope. Um, I plan on streaming for a while tonight. I think what I want to do is I want to beat, I want to get the first star in this game. So we're going to play it until at least that. Then I'll probably take a break and eat or something. And then maybe I'll do some, uh, Super Mario 64 speedrunning. I haven't done that in a while, so. If it were 2001 for one day, what would I buy? I would buy the Connect Serpent roller coaster. That thing was the most lit thing I've ever had in my life. I got it for Christmas one day. Oh my god. I, I don't think I ever built it right. I can never figure out how to actually build it, but... That thing was legendary. Or a Bionicle. I, I'd go to KB Toys and get a Bionicle. Oh, by the way, everybody, I like that Texan. And Luke, I love Frank House. That's, I think that's how like all this started for me when I was in, uh, in high school. I discovered like Frank House on the internet. Remember Alex Daft Punk 91? Remember that YouTube channel? A lot of years. But I, I uh, actually, I got lunch today with Dr. Lotto. And, um... I was telling him how, like, if I if I hit 5,000 subs, I'm gonna make a vapor drink, and we're gonna all vote on, like, what the most vaporwave drink would be. And we were in the stream the other night, we were saying how, like, it would be, like, Dr. Pepper, um, Dr. Pepper, Crystal Pepsi, um, what was it? It was Dr. Pepper, Crystal Pepsi, something else, oh, Arizona Iced Tea, and, um, and Fiji water to distill it. But then I was thinking, let's even take it up a notch. We're gonna get, remember Fresca? Remember those, those like, Coke soda can things? We're gonna put Fresca in an ice cube tray. And then, we're gonna take the vapor drink and pour it into the empty can of Fresca and then pour that over the rocks on Fresca ice cubes. That would be the most vaporwave drink I think you could ever make. If you have any more recommendations to throw in, make it real soupy looking. Let me know. Ooh, that was okay. Yeah, game time though. I I must have beaten this game so many damn times as a kid. So it's really fun like playing it again. Oh, I'm so dumb. Fresco is so good. I've been having forever. 
Thank you, Ian. I love you, dude. Right, let's get this dude out of the way. Oh, yeah, there's something different about a McDonald's Coke than a regular Coke. It tastes so much better. I gotta remember I can do that. Or an orange high, a McDonald's orange high C with some chicken nuggets. That's the, that's the good, that's the good stuff. Oh, I need the Koopa dude. I've heard of Lancaster. Um, I've never heard of the album though. I, I've never... Dude, yeah, keep throwing. Honestly, if you guys have any album recommendations, throw them over, so... I can hit these guys, right? Oh, the fuzzy dudes. Yeah, Luke, I'm hungry now, too. That's, that's true. We should all go on a field trip to McDonald's. Dr. Crystal Fiji Zona on the rocks. On the Fresca rocks. Oh, uh, what's up, dude? We are certainly out here. Stuff like a mat, a man making a stupid thing. Am I even supposed to try to kill him? I don't think so. This is a vaporwave room. Look at this. This guy's got the whole setup. He don't even need a fridge. He doesn't need a bed. He's got a nice little boom box. Golden oldies. Okay. This man's got it going on. That's the way to do it, bro. Yeah, I actually, I drink, I stopped drinking, uh, soda in October. You don't realize how bad soda is, for It's really bad. Am I not supposed to get this? You couldn't have done this one yourself. I feel you're there, baby. Go get a big man. Oh, 
Oh, I wasn't looking. Shit. Does, any <laughs> Does anybody know which one it went in? I wasn't paying attention. Let me know in the chat. I, I was not looking at the TV. I'll look around here for now. I just randomly guess. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Randomly guess it. Let's try this guy. God damn it. What's up, Bone Dog? How you doing? This is my copy from when I was a kid. This is my legit, like... I can never get rid of this thing. I, I should put this thing on the screen. Oh, I can get it. Oh, but this is the guy. You go like this, right? I don't know. It wasn't a hand. It was a hand. Oh, I keep getting it. Nope. 
Yup, Paper Mario's one of the best, baby. And Vapor Sauce, I would... I don't know, I, was, I would, like, assume it's Big Mac sauce. Purple, 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 blue and green food color in it, so... Put that over everything. Oh, man. What a burger? Nah, I don't even know what that is. I wanted to go to Texas, so it was expensive. And the weather seemed really hot, which is nice. Oh, I keep forgetting this dude. Okay, I should leave this one. Oh no. I think if I get game over, I get all the way back. Duo dot. Yup, this is a great game. Me too, man. And see, alright, everybody, I'm in, a, I'm in a tough situation here. I could. What should I do? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, what's this? I'm gonna die. Strategies do nothing. To me, the best burger, like in terms of a chain, is Five Guys. You can't beat a Five Guys, like everything burger, the all the way burger at Five Guys. Oh my god. How should I do this? Can you use items? No. Oh, we could try this. Alright. Or we could Should we run away? We're running away. Oh, we're fine. Oh no, we're going away. No, no, no. I think there's a there's a health thing over here though. I think. Yep. Uh, I wanna go beat him though. I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is so good for me. I keep thinking. Alright, let's kill this dude. Chick-fil-A's got good fries, like the waffle fries. 
I love this level so much fun. I just I think McDonald's would just always be like a classic for me. It never, it never gets old. Man. Really? Ah, that's good to know. Wait, let's do, let me do that really quick. Let me know if this is works. Hold on. Ah, right, let me know how how's this? Is it is it still a little too loud? Or I'm not even sure. I might have actually did it to my. No, no, that should be good. Let me know if that's good. I can lower it even more. Um, for some reason, like an OBS, I can't make my voice any louder. Okay, I'll just, I'll make the, I'll make the gameplay louder. Alright, uh, let me know how that is. No. Let me know if this is any better. Yeah, let me know, like, still getting used to learning how to, like, really run the stream and everything, so, if anything's ever out of sync, let me know. What up, Texan? Welcome back.
What up, spinning TV? Did I hurt you? No, right? How do you hurt Oh, shit. Oh. I gotta lower it. That was a stupid move. Uh, let's do... Not much, we're just going through the castle. I remember this one was pretty long, too. Yeah, Duo Dot, that vinyl, someone told me about it on my Discord. I clicked the link and it said there was one remaining. I never had a more, like, hectic band camp buy in my life. I somehow got one, though, like, and then people already, like, just flipping them on eBay for, like, 120 bucks, like, um, like, five minutes later. But they did, they pressed more, like, 100 more, but I think those sold out, too, in, like, 90 seconds or something. But... I know it's gonna take a while to get because the Sailor Wave records were supposed to ship out in like January and it's it's April, you know. Uh, and no one's gotten like a notification about that yet. Oh boy. Well, this is where we die because I have no health. Unless. You son of a bitch. Hmm. What should I do here? Um. Let's do... Thank you, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a nice uh, vinyl review for that one. That'll be fun. That'll definitely be fun. So there's some good future funk stuff coming on vinyl. I'm excited. All right, let's do. I think this is our best bet. Unless I just get rid of this and put HP plus, but will that increase my overall HP? No, never mind. That's pointless. All right, let's get rid of this guy. Close call and hammer throw. Yeah. And wait. Okay, this guy's about to mess my life up. Alright, well, I should have that. How much? Uh, let me get another one of these. Oh, God. What's the shortcut to use? No, don't hit me yet. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, God. Alright, what's my move here? Well, this guy... Um... I should be able to survive this, obviously. Hey, 
the badger. coming, fantasy's coming, and then now with desire it's coming, and we're supposed to get Sailor Wave 2 eventually. I thought that would come out first, but... Alright, there we go. Let's have one of these. I'm so excited for Sailor Wave, though. That's the one I really can't wait for. Did anyone get that, um, the Lost... Was it Lost Angles who made a vinyl this weekend? The Mori Tori one? The green one. Whatever the green one is. It's Madden 08. No. The best football game, hands down, NFL 2K5 with the crib. Remember that? With T Terrell Owens on the cover? NFL 2K5 was the best. And then I would say like Madden 07 with Sean Alexander. That was a good one too. I was unbeatable at Madden because I would always just pick the Falcons with Michael Vick. And I there was this one play that just, you ran all your players to the left and it left the right side open and you ran like 60 yards every play with Michael Vick up the side. It was amazing. Oh, that no. Oh, I'm not gonna... Can't be back in football. Cannot. Yeah, I think that was a. Are there still copies available? I think it was like a 300. That that thing looks cool, and it sounds like I listened to the album. It sounds really good. So that's gonna sound good on vinyl if it's pressed good. You guys still hear me? I think the stream cut out for a second. Pad's gonna stretch real quick. My back is like, oh, me. Alright, we're back. We're back. Oh, Luke, you actually went to get McDonald's, dude? Did you get it? Did you get some for the whole? Listen, if you didn't get some for everybody, you're gonna have to put it away, okay? This is a sharing chat. This this stream where we share here. So if you didn't get a, a 20 piece, you're gonna have to leave the chat, sir. Whoa. I don't really know which Brockhampton albums like have what. Um, I just listen to their songs like sporadically on YouTube. But whichever one has Boogie, that one because that song bumps. 
That's a great song. Is it the uh, the Simpsons movie watches? Remember those had the Burger King toys? That's like the only one I remember. And the the wind up Pokemon for the Pokemon movie too. Remember those guys? That was a good Happy Meal toy. almost done with this level. I need the bomb. Yeah, Boogie's so good. I've been beat up my whole life. That that song is hot. That's a hype song. Yeah, I know it's not that sharp. The reason is why I'm, I have it, like, going through... You know what? Let's see if we can fix this, actually. I, I have it going through an Elgato capture card. It's not, like, a ROM or an emulator, which I'm, I kind of think that might be the best move, even though I have, like, all these retro games to play. So maybe we'll just eventually get an emulator. But what I could do is I could change the brightness of it. Let me know if this helps. Hold on. Let me know if this helps. Let me know if this is a little better, right? Hold on, let's make it, uh, let's make it vape wave for a second. Oh, which one are we gonna do? This is pretty fresh looking. I do want to keep it normal, but like, where's Vapor Mario at? Right? No, right there. Not that. Maybe that. That's Vapor Mario, but let's go. Uh, let's put this back. I'm gonna break everything. You don't, you don't let Pad play with anything in here. Alright, hold on. How's this? Is this a little better? Oh, you mean in the game? <laughs> oh, man. And Duo Dot, have a good night, my dude. Thanks for coming by. And Maple Milk, you know what? Let's let's leave it. Uh, you know what? Now it is a little too... It's a little too... It's a little too sharp now. Hold on. I'm going to lower the gamma. Alright, let's leave it like this. Alright. Yeah, Mario ain't too smart in this game. Um, I'm gonna upload a new video soon. I wanted to do. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, I wanted to do the vinyl review, which I did. It was the, the satin sheets one. I got that out of the way. Um, 
I'm gonna be doing the bootlegs in Vaporwave video very soon, but I know I want to spend some time making that video. So, because of that, I might make that video while I'm making another video. Um, that being said, I'm thinking, like, a lot of you have been asking me to do cassette reviews. I don't have a lot of cassettes, and I don't really have a cassette player. I have, like, a portable one my girlfriend got me. So it's like nothing special. Um, so maybe like I could just talk about, you know, like the physical presentation of the cassette and um, like just the album in general. And we were listening in the stream, if you guys were here, we were listening to um, we were listening to Winter Circle and I completely forgot how good of an album that is. And I have that on cassette. I have the request, the golden one. And so maybe I'll make a, like a, a cool little like cassette review of uh, Winter Circle. That, that might be fun to make, so expect that coming soon. That might come, and then the bootlegs and Vaporwave. And Luke, I've listened to that. I love that stuff. Um, Cherokee, that's like, I remember I was like hearing that when I was in like my like big, um, French house stage. Uh, that, like, Cherokee stuff would always pop up. So yeah, Hagen, it's, uh, be on the lookout for that. And for anyone who knows about the Winter Circle cassette, it's pretty. The golden one. Um, let's do this. Do I have another one? No. I want that money. Um, let's. No, keep going. Yeah, I I heard uh, I didn't get an Echo Jams vinyl. I don't know. I just I couldn't do it. I didn't want to do it. Plus, like they posted something that there was delays, and who knows how long that's gonna take. So I didn't even touch it. I mean, if you guys get it, that it's gonna be. I mean, it's, it's Echo Jams on vinyl, despite you know it being unofficial and all that crap. Like it's it's pretty cool. And Luke, I haven't beaten the original Mario yet. I still haven't beaten it. I got up to like, I got up to like World 5 or something. I think it's the best I did. Uh, let's see this guy. Oh, and I should have used uh, the, the bomb girl first. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Right, uh, I'm talking about the winner circle one. Same Pepsi. I think it's gold this other. That is a pretty looking uh, cassette. So, and maybe I'll do like a uh, like ten of my favorite cassettes I have in my collection because I don't I'm not a big uh, cassette dude. Oh oh, I'm done. I'm done. This game's so much fun. I'm like into this right now. It's kind of a slow start, but once you get into the game, it's fun. Yeah, me too, Luke. I still think he is. Like, Sam Pepsi's the man. Oh, am I gonna fall? Oh, thank God. Oh, I want McDonald's now. 
That sounded so good. Luke, you better be enjoying that McDonald's, man. What up, Jonathan? And yeah, Mr. Amazing, yep. That's, um... That you, the YouTube So I, I remember after we listened to the stream, after I did the stream when we were listening to, uh... Winter Circle, I listened to Winter Circle on there, because I know he had it up there. Um, uh, no, I gotta, I gotta remember the shortcuts. What have I learned from Vaporwave that will help me in the zombie apocalypse? Whoa, baby. Let me tell you what I've learned. Listen to me. We know how people are these days. Everyone needs the best shit, right? Everyone needs the highest quality tech. Everyone needs to be clean. Now, let me tell you something. If Pat Jennington was in a zombie apocalypse, you give me a dusty ass compact computer, right? And put me on a roof and give me a bunch of those, all I'm gonna do is just drop them on the zombies. So not only are the zombies dying by the sheer weight of these computers, I'm gonna have them playing Lego Island as they're falling so they die with aesthetic. Let me tell you that. And the dust from the computer is gonna put them to sleep. So I'm gonna have the ultimate setup. Patching in, in a zombie apocalypse. And let me tell you, I got a mean Nerf gun. When I was a kid, I had a sniper Nerf gun. I'll put all their asses to sleep. I'll, I'll, I'll treat the zombies with aesthetic. Alright, where's this door now? Do I gotta do this again? No way. See, when I was a kid, this is when Paper Mario would mess me up. Because I would just get so stuck. Is, I've been listening to this album. It's called like "Don't Be" by Forty Three Degrees or something like that. Listen to that album. That's, a, that's such a good album. Um, also, Winter Circle, man. I'm telling you, I've been on like a Winter Circle binge since I heard it. Um, and Luke, the Late Night Delight vinyl. I don't even know if there's one for sale. It was it, the, the runs were so low. I think mine's like fifty, and it, it does sound bad, but. 
Late Night Delay is one of those vaporwave albums that, like, it, like, it could still sound really bad and still sound cool, so it's really just, like, a novelty item, um, but if there is one for sale, I wouldn't be surprised if it's, like, super expensive, so I wouldn't buy it, you know, you're gonna get the same experience just listening to it through your, like, laptop, um, I really do hope they press that as a full LP one day, because that album deserves it. Vaporwave remix with Toshiki Katamatsu. Toshiki's the boy. Patch Harrington might be... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go to a, a Toshiki Katamatsu concert soon. We'll see. We'll see. And you guys will come with me. Um, I've always found Death Grips, like, interesting, but I, I can't listen to it. I think, like, most people, like, listen to them for, like, the shock value, but... For them, I think like they just lie to them, so I don't know. Don't kill me because I know everyone loves Death Grips, but I just, it's not for me. Yeah, like I said, I think it's more just like, like wow, this dude's crazy more than anything else. The Money Store though is good. Um, the Money Store has a couple songs on there. There's a couple Death Grip songs that are good. I just I don't know the names of them. One of them has this like uh, it's like I mean that probably sounds like all all this stuff, but um. There's one song, but there's a couple songs that are good by him, so. He, they have new, uh, Death Grip's got something new coming out, right? Uh, I don't have an Instagram. I only have, tw I have Twitter. Um, I, I just don't see the point with Instagram for Vaporwave. Maybe, like, like a Vaporwave content, you know, because most people are on Twitter. So, unless, you know, maybe I could start something on Instagram, that'll be, that'll be a cool idea. Oh, this is where you could, like, farm, right, bad guys over here. Yeah, well, well that's the thing, Rock, Rocky Dumbo. Um, I haven't really listened to a lot of Death Grip, so I can't, you know, I, I would never put the dude down. And a lot of people love him, so, I mean, he's gotta be good. But from what I've heard, it's just like, I don't know, it just, it just seems like loud. Get Got, that's the song. That's the song that's good. Get, 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 got, 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 blah, 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 See, I was right. That was, that's how it goes. Could this dude hit him all? Rocky, good call, dude. How did you get that out of, like, my gibberish thing? They, no, they didn't. They sampled a printer. <laughs> Spinning TV is back. Oh, how do I beat these guys again? JPEG Mafia, I've heard of. Um, I've heard of him from Fantano, but I, I haven't listened to him. I don't even know, is he a rapper, or...? That's another dude I gotta start listening to. Cause I, I mean, everyone's hyping him up. You know what, Rocky, do me a favor, Rocky Balboa. I know you're, I know you're training to beat Apollo right now, but... Give me some, uh, Death Grips recommendations. Let me check him out a little more, so...
Hit me up, Rocky. Military, that's the one that everyone talks about, right? Uh, rock there. Uh, hacker, punk weight, bitch please. Also bonus. Alright, I got some homework to do tonight. Oh, why'd I change the head? That was a mistake. The one album I heard the, that I really heard from Death Grips like a while ago was the Money Store. And I remember there was a couple of stuff I liked on there. So oh, why do I keep doing this? Baby, that'd be a good time. We'll throw a quarter in the jukebox. Oh, Pad's a big diner, dude. I love diners. Get breakfast at like 3 in the morning. Can't beat it. Uh, let's... How many full-length albums does uh, Death Grips have?
Peace. Alright, we got the first one. This is the old ass dude though. He doesn't do anything, right? Hagen, I do have a Twitter. Um, it's pad underscore Chennington, I believe. No way. Dude, uh, that's pretty crazy. I love, like, when there's, like, cryptic, uh, messages for album releases. Like that, um, the Boards of Canada one. When Kanye did, like, Yeezus. That was cool. Alright, guys. So, alright. So, here's the deal. I'm gonna eat really quick because I'm starving. Uh, my goal was to at least get the first star tonight, which we did. So I'm going to give myself a nice little round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Um, I'm going to eat, and I might come back on a stream. I probably am going to come back on the stream. Um, I got some work I got to do, but and I also want to start working on another video. So I might do that. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for coming to watch. We're going to be playing this. Uh, we're I'm going to beat the game. So I'm going to beat the game with you guys, but we got the first star. I also want to do some speed running Super Mario 64 with you guys as well, so I'm going to try to do that. But I'm going to take a break for now. Um, hopefully, I come back on and I'll see you guys. If not, I'm going to be working on my next video. So, yeah, hope you guys like the stream. Thank you for coming. And I will see all of y'all soon. Yeah, Luke, I should go get McDonald's. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks again, guys. I'll be talking to you soon. Uh, much love, your boy, Patch.